Hi guys and welcome to Java Tutorial Office Stock Management System developed using Microsoft Access. So let me take you guys straight to the invoice area. Whatever data you enter in there is actually displayed right in here. So we can see the details of Captain Jerry. Okay, and that's it right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on that and let's enter other customers details let's say it's ordering for 42 and in here let's enter the name of this guy and his name is Captain Arlan Arlan B. Moore there okay so in here let's just call that maybe London School of Flying there we go. Okay, it's not on sales. And uh, item is 10 there. And here, discount, let's give him about 20. VAT, yes. And it uh, does have a de debit card and a Visa card. All we just need to do now is to click on total. There we go. As you can see, this message box is telling us that. Uh, our captain now be more details is now added onto the database okay let's have a quick look at the database before we go any further double click on the database and right here those are the details of captain Alan and that of captain Jerry so what I'm going to do right now guys I'm going to take you guys to Java development environment I will put one of these together and let's start a new project guys I'm gonna go straight to file let's click on new project and in here you want to select Java with ant and the project should be Java application click on next and in there just give it a name I'm gonna call it Java underscore stock okay Java underscore stocks with the next you see where we have create main class I'm going to uncheck that and click on finish there we go and now let's look for Java stocks right here that's Java stocks right click on it let's go to new and let's select Java form right here click on Java form and give your project a name I'm just gonna call it Java stock and the project the class name is Java stock the project is Java stock and here the package I'm just gonna call it Java stock as well and click on finish there we go that's my application interface ready now right click on the form itself and let's go to set layout change that to absolute layout I right click on the form again select properties side of properties I'm going to go to uh, to codes in here and the codes design size I'm going to make that 1400 by let's go for maybe 800 there and where we have generate center make sure it's checked close that there we go now the next thing we want to do is let's go straight to the palette here and we now need a tab control so let's add tab pane so click on that and I'm just gonna bring it here there we go you might not be able to see the tab so I'm just gonna drag it across something like that so now for for you to be able to see the tab itself I'm going to go back to the panel here and now I'm going to select inside this palette I mean I'm going to select a panel let's bring the panel just peg it right there now you have your first tab okay let's add another tab back to the panel again or back to the palette grab another panel just drag it right there on the side of it do that properly there we go 
now I have two tabs okay so I'm gonna right click or just select the the editor and I'm just gonna change the name of that to stock control there we go and for number two click on that and let's change that to maybe invoice details something like that there we go now I have my two tabs in place and for each of the tab I'm just going to right click on it and let's select set layout make sure it's absolute layout repeat the same thing for the other one and make sure it's absolute layout okay so what I'm going to do now do is I'm going to go back to the palette inside the palette I need a label drop a label there then I also need a combo box just drop it right there I'm gonna need text area or text field okay then I will also need text area but before that let's grab hold of this panel bring it right here so I'm just gonna drag it out much in fact I might as well just let, let's go back to the properties of that very panel I'm going to go to the border and let's change the border to make that four okay that's fine and I'm going to just grab hold of all of these components and dump it in there but if you notice the text field that I just dump in there you can see the lines just because I have not converted it to absolute layer so let's come back in here let's right click on it and let's select set layout and make that absolute layer which means I can move the text anywhere I want now that is absolute layout let's grab all of these two components here let's place them inside and just drag it that much let's replace this or reposition that properly and just drag this way down okay one more thing we need to do is go back to the palette and grab hold of another panel just drag it that much and I'm going to change the border style to 4 as well Okay, select line border, change that to 4, click on OK, and guess what? Right click, come into settings or set layout, change it to absolute layer as well. That is good. Alright, we need just one more. Now I think we're going to need two more. Okay, we can just copy this, right click let's say copy and I'm gonna paste that in there so I have one here that I will use for my button I'm also gonna need another one paste I think that's here very good I'm gonna use that for the payment and so on alright that's good and bring this in for the payments okay we can always make some more changes to it as we go along now come in here you see the label let's increase the size of that label to something much more readable and um, my text box I actually needed a text box as well uh, text okay let's go for one text field here and here we're going to need text area there okay let's increase this then we take it from there these three components go straight to the properties let's change the size to something much more readable I'm going to make that maybe about 20 for now let's say 20 bold there 
I think that 20 kind of look could be small. Let's change it to maybe 24. Okay. That is good. Now, let's move this here. So this very one, I'm going to change the details of this to product ID. All of these names are going to be from the database. So I do have the database. I will include it on the description area. You can just download the database for free. It's an access database. Okay. Let's open the database. Right here is the database. Right click on it. Go to design view and those are the names that I'm following. The next one is going to be product name, description and so on. So let's come in here. So I'm going to right click on this and I'll just control C, copy, control V, paste. Yeah. And change this one to product name. Okay, so let's just copy some more. Paste, drag it down. Paste another one. We have six now. Another one. That's eight. And two more. There. Okay, let's change the name of this one to description. And this is going to be stock level. Then we have reorder level. Out of stock. number of order or number of stock then here we call this one stock uh, let's say cost then this one is going to be known as reorder all the dates and finally action okay now I have my labels in place I'm just gonna grab hold of one of those labels so let's copy this one control C control V paste and place that here we now want to change the appearance of that go back to the properties and where we have border let's look for border there we go click on border select the line border and I'm going to make that let's say about three there get rid of the text content in there and just that's it and the variable name for this is going to be product name right click on it change variable name that will be J LBL product name very good this one up here let's change that to variable name is going to be JCMB product ID brilliant now let's copy this one because we're going to need a couple of these. Control C, Control V. And this will be the product name. I thought as much. Okay. So bring this down, move this back up. Now let's copy this very one. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. And the 
text box this should be here really now let's copy just one paste okay we need just two more copy paste there we go you can select it all and just increase the size a little bit or the width a little bit okay let's hope that will be okay else we're going to have to change it now this one is going to be known as uh, J LBL description then we have J LBL stock level one word JLBL reorder level that's good and this as a text field let's change the border style of that text field as well there should be something here yeah, there we go let's make it about three as well black and this one too I should change that let's see the properties yes okay there is border in, in there select line border make that three there we go get rid of the text content in here and change the variable names JTXT that will be out of stock no that should be number of order number of number of order yeah so which means this one is wrong this should be called number of order very good so this should be right here okay and this one will be out of stock J L B L out of stock and this is JLBL cost JLBL reorder date And this is action, JLBL action. So I suppose you guys get the whole idea. So I'm going to just design the upper part of it. So let's come in here, copy. Let's copy this first, Control C and Control V. Control V again, bring that here, Control V, Control V, Control V. And we need four here. Okay. 
copy paste yeah then we need three here as well all right looking good there this is going to be for my address now here I need four of those well I don't want to grab all of any of this let's copy one of these control C paste and let's change it around border make that three there we go then we can then copy it around for the others get rid of the text content drag it that much copy paste copy paste all right and I'm going to need two up here copy two copy and paste it right here then here we need just one copy and paste okay okay so let's do one thing let's move this down a little bit more I want to copy this control C and we don't, we don't have to paste it in here control V paste let's see control C control V okay just drag it down Copy that, Control C. And Control V. And one more, Control V. Bring it down. Okay, we're gonna have to make a room for everything, or make room for everything so that the layout will be okay alright so we need one here copy this control C and control V and bring that here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up the look of everything but before then we need three here one two and three copy that Control C, Control V, and just move it here. Okay, so let's just tidy up, and I'll get back to you guys shortly. But before then, here we don't need some buttons here, though. Let's drag this down much, bring it down a little bit. Uh, we need three labels, or no three. Yeah, three labels control C and control V so it's not going to be those ones but the ones below because of the names this one they already have their own variable name so to be sure I'm going to just right click on one and there oh that's the wrong one okay that is the wrong one let's see this one alright then I'm going to move these ones back up there and bring the one two and three down okay so like I said I will have to tidy up here yeah, let's see okay those are the right ones okay I need three labels as well control C copy and control V drag them down so this is going to be 
tax. This will be this is subtotal. And this is going to be total. Okay, so I need three buttons. Either arrange it like this or do something about it. Okay, so we need three buttons. Come right here, grab all of this very button here, dump it right here. We have one. So change the, the font of these two, something much more readable, make it 36 bold, change that to that's going to be total. Control C, Control V. Just another one there. All right, this is going to be exit. Variable name will be BT and exit. J B T and exit. And this is going to be reset. Variable name J B T and reset. This is total. I become JBT and total. All right. So you can see how messy it all looks now. So I'm going to save it. Just run it before I go about improving the appearance of of the project. Alright guys, this is how it's looking. I just need to tidy up and I'll get back to you guys. And I will also give all of these ones a name, just like a DD. So let's tidy up. Let's order ID. Okay, let's speed that up now. Okay guys, I think I've finished with the naming. So let's run it and just see how that looks like. So let's click on run once the compiler is ready. Click on run. There we go. That is how it's looking right now. Okay. But right here I still need to add some table or a table in here. But for now, I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial, and I'll see you guys shortly.